these are the various features of python simple and easy to use freeware and open source platform independent portability high level programming language interpreted dynamically typed both procedure oriented programming and object oriented programming extensible and embedded extensive library so these are the various features of python now let's see one by one so first one is simple and easy to use okay python is simple language and it is easy to use even the beginners also can easily understand can easily use the code okay so simple and easy to use python contains totally 33 keywords python contains 33 keywords so what is meant by a keyword a keyword is a reserved word with some specific meaning okay keyword is a reserved word it is a reserved word with specific meaning so that meaning can't be changed by the user okay so these keywords are all inbuilt words okay they have some specific meaning we can't change that meaning as an user okay so totally python contains 33 keywords next one is uh, the python code okay python code is as easy as simple english like commands okay consider a c language code consider a code using ternary operator i am i am writing a code in c language x is equal to 20 greater than 30 question mark 40 columns 50 suppose for example consider this statement okay so question mark followed by this column this is called as a ternary operator ternary operator okay so what is the meaning of this statement means uh, suppose the condition which is enclosed in these brackets if this condition is true then the statement followed by question mark will be, will be executed if this condition is false okay the condition which is written in this parenthesis if it is uh, in these brackets uh, if this condition is uh, false then the one which is uh, uh, which is uh, uh, after the colon then the the statement uh, or the number which is uh, after the colon that means this one will be executed that is the meaning of this ternary operator if the condition is uh, true the statement or the number which is followed after the question mark will be executed if the condition is false uh, the statement or the number okay uh, which is followed by colon will be executed so check now is this condition true is 20 greater than 30 false so if the condition is false which one has to be executed the one which is followed after the colon that means this has to be executed now x contains the value of 50 that is the output okay so the same code the same code i am writing in python see x equal to 40 if 20 greater than 30 else 50 that means if this condition is true this will be executed if this condition is false automatically the one followed by else statement will be executed right so if you consider these two statements the output for these two statements is the same okay but uh, consider this one this is a python code this one is a python code and this is c code so which one is user friendly which one is easy to understand uh, automatically this one right because uh, this statement is just simple english okay just like a simple english which is user friendly which is easy for the users to understand compared to this one this is user friendly right 
the beginners can easily understand this one because this is just like a simple sim simple English command ok. So, this condition is false automatical x equal to 50 is the output for this statement right. So, python code is as easy as simple English like commands ok simple English just it is just like a simple English statement ok and next one is a concise code as I already told concise code concise code means less lines of code to solve any application no need to write more lines of code in python just with simple uh, just with the uh, less lines of code less number of code we can uh, we can uh, do the applications we can solve the applications in python ok so because of this concise code what is the advantage is uh, development time is reduced and cost of uh, project development is also reduced ok so that is the advantage of this concise code so one of the feature of uh, python is it is simple and easy to use ok because its simplicity is uh, just it contains 33 keywords ok if we if as a user as a developer if you learn about all these 33 keywords uh, you can become a python expert ok you can become a python expert to some level because you you also have to learn about the library functions also ok uh, and uh, if you learn about all these 33 keywords you can become python expert to some level python expert to some level ok so keywords means these are the reserved words with some specific meaning that meaning can't can't be changed by the user ok and next one is a uh, uh, python code is as easy as a simple english like command english like statements i showed with an example how easy it will be ok the syntax is very easy even the beginners also can easily understand the code and next one is the third one is third point is concise code concise code means less lines of code ok to solve any application developers no need to write more lines of code just they can go with the uh, less lines of code to solve the application ok so because of that uh, what is the main advantage development time and cost of uh, project test project development will be reduced that is about uh, simple and easy to use so coming to the second feature freeware and open source so freeware means no need to pay any money for the license ok it is free to use so python software foundation is there it is a non-profit organization they will take care of this python ok no need to pay any money as a an user we can directly uh, this uh, python software foundation they are maintaining an official website python.org directly we can go to that website and we can download the python ok no need to pay any money any money for the license that is called as a freeware and next coming to open source open source means uh, source code is uh, open to the outside environment source code is uh, open to the outside environment if the source code is open to the outside environment uh, what is the advantage means uh, if that uh, if the available source code if it is not uh, uh, meeting my requirements ok if it is not meeting my requirements uh, what I can do is uh, I can customize that source code according to my requirement ok I can customize the source code according to my requirement that is the advantage of this uh, open source next coming to the third feature platform independent platform independent suppose for example consider a C application ok so I have two platforms one is windows and the other one is linux ok so for C application we have to write separate C application for windows and separate C application this is C application for windows similarly separate C application for linux ok separate C application for linux we have to write because C is a platform dependent programming language 
that means uh, for each and every platform you have to write a separate application okay but now coming to python so in python consider i have again three different platforms okay one is windows other one is linux and another one is mac for example okay so in as a python is a platform independent language okay you can write python application once okay this is my python application i can write my python application once and i can run this python application in all the platforms just like in c no need to write okay um, in c we have to write a, a separate application for windows and separate application for linux okay but in uh, python no need to write separate application for windows for linux for mac like for different platforms no need to write a different applications okay just write once just write a python application once and run on different platforms that is called as a platform independent no need to write separate applications for different platforms okay write once and run on all the platforms that is called as that nature is called as a platform independent okay in c we have to write separate applications for windows separate separate application for linux suppose if you have another platform you have to write a separate application for another platform too but in plat in python no need to write separately write once and run on different platforms that is called as platform independent so internally there will be a pvm python virtual machine okay internally there is a python virtual machine right so this a python virtual machine this python virtual machine it is a platform dependent this a python virtual machine is a platform dependent that means we have to we have to install a separate pvm for windows separate pvm for linux we have to go with separate pvm for windows separate pvm for linux and separate pvm for mac okay because this is uh, the python virtual machine the python interpreter it is a platform dependent but python language is a platform independent okay that means within the python there is a python virtual machine which is platform dependent so we have to we have to maintain separate pvm for windows separate pvm for linux separate pvm for mac because it is a pvm is a platform dependent but the python application is a platform independent platform independent means write once okay and run on different systems run on different platforms that is not that is called as a platform independent so python is a platform independent language